I also have been talking to people a lot lately about that default programming that we have, that 90% of conditioned beliefs that we run on autopilot whenever we're angry or hurt or anxious or living in fear or when you're conscious and aware and, and, and thinking about what you're saying and thinking about what's serving your life and what your beliefs are and things like that, that's that's who you are and that's who you want to be and that serves you, yeah? But when you're out of awareness, when you someone catches you off guard, they've got, they attack you or something like that and you're no longer in that place of awareness, you, you default back to your automatic programming, you default back to... Like that's when you say the things that you don't mean to say, like that you can't believe you said. That's when you hear your mother or your father come out of your mouth. That's when you just, you say something nasty or default back to your, all their conditioned beliefs and things like that, that you have growing up. And it's not you, but what I've been talking about with other people, not, not trying to tell them that, I'm trying to say with me, I want to know what is still on autopilot for me, like what conditioned beliefs that I haven't worked on that may still be running my life because every time you have a thought all these neurons are fired and some of them are your you know current beliefs some of them your autopilot good habits that you've implanted in there and some of them are from when you were three years old that experience you had yesterday that fight you had you know 10 years ago all these different things are still in there they're your memories they're you know, they, they make up part of who you are. So you have a thought and all these little neurons are fired and some of them are serving you and some of them are just absolute conditioning rubbish or they served you at the time when you were going through a certain thing but they no longer serve you or who you want to be. You don't want to be that person that that has that automatic response. So what I decided to do since there's no access to um, psychedelics or DMT or anything like that here which I think would be the you know the shortcut method of being able to deal with all your demons and and things that are you know stuck in your subconscious where you're not aware that it's running your life you know in some way I thought maybe if I get drunk because I haven't drank in years it's more of a fear like I didn't want to drink because I like to be in control I like to be in control of my mind I've had a lot of bad memories that's when a lot of bad things have happened so why would I want to subject myself to either saying the wrong thing something that I don't mean or something that that maybe hurts somebody else because of whatever condition beliefs are still in there or um, putting myself at risk of something bad happening kind of thing because there's all those fears in there still from memories from years ago so anyway I did have this great idea that I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to record myself on video and see if there's anything that I still need to work on. I decided that, that I'll do that experiment last night. So I did, I got wasted. Drank southern, bourbon, way too much. But I was by myself. I wasn't doing harm to anybody else. So it was good to know that even in a out of control, not out of control as in what you see on TV, but even when I and was out of control of my mind that I was still held the same beliefs and I still um, I was still me and um, that was surprising to me because I actually thought that there would be a lot of I mean there probably there is there is there of course there is there's lots of things in me that that are in on autopilot that I'm not aware of I won't be aware of until it comes out of my mouth until I notice it I don't notice it but last night when I was looking at the different things that I posted on things like that I do Still the same beliefs.